Assalamu alaikum, dear subscribers. Today, we're talking about behavioral finance, one of the most theoretical aspects in financial management F9 ACC paper. Behavioral finance is how human behavior affects our financial decisions. So it's not about the formulas or laws, financing logic. It's about our behavior, our mood, and some inconceivable or inexplicable events, which will lead to our either rational or most frequently irrational decision-making. Well, actually, behavioral finance is a very broad topic. Um, there are programs around the world offering bachelor's, master's, even PhD programs on behavioral finance. But for the sake of Financial Management F9 paper. All you need to know is this video and the terminology in this video. So let's go. The first term that we're going to talk about is the market paradox. As you can see on the um, picture on your right. So it's a paradox. I mean, you cannot say if the shape is standing or if it's horizontal or vertical and which one is the upper side. So you get lost. It's a paradox, which we cannot explain. Market paradox, like stock market paradox, is the case that actually it's an efficient market, but investors tend to believe that market is not efficient. So they try to um, have some abnormal gain by trading, buying or selling shares, because they believe that they are more clever than the market because if investors do not have this belief then market would collapse because if you know that you cannot win why would you ever play right and this belief makes the markets efficient i mean market tries to adapt to investors beliefs and market tries to be more and more efficient as a result so markets are getting more efficient and investors are thinking that market is not efficient. What a paradox, right? The next terminology is the herding effect. Herding is the group of sheep, cattle, or in Uzbek, we call poda effect. Herding effect is just going, following this herd, a herd of cattle. In finance, it is buying or selling shares just because many other investors are also doing so or have done so. Why herding effect occurs? There might be two basic reasons. Firstly, it's the social conformity. People tend to go in the way others, like many other people in the society are going. They try not to deviate from what others are doing. And secondly, it's the lack of confidence by new investors, inexperienced investors. So they tend to believe that other investors cannot be wrong. So if they are buying this share, then probably they will make a gain and I should do so. I should also do so. This is a hurting effect. The next terminology is the bubble effect. Bubble is more related with the financial crisis of 2008. So bubble occurs when, so after the herding effect, investors follow a herding effect and they buy shares in a certain sector, for example, Bitcoin, let's say. Then this might lead to, uh, because demand is rising in Bitcoin prices, Bitcoin shares, uh, the price of Bitcoin um, shares will rise as a result, will rise as a result, and many more people will buy the shares of Bitcoin, and then this will result in stock market bubble, which is also called artificial growth, not real or genuine growth. The next terminology is the noise traders. So these are not rational investors. I'm sorry to say this, but these are not professionals either. These are traders who do not think carefully. 
who do not analyze the company fundamentally, who do not think about the prospects of the company, they, I don't know why they buy or sell shares, actually. Um, the characteristics, the qualities of noise traders are they follow trends. What's going well, they try to buy shares. If the trend is downward, even if it's temporary, they tend to sell shares. Another terminology is the, the concept of loss erosion. Loss erosion means people tend to uh, choose not risk or tend to choose if there are two options, low risk investments. Because they're afraid of loss, investors are ready for small risk and as a result, small returns. Even if there's an opportunity that risky projects of now, like short-term risky projects, might in the long term bring a lot of gains, a lot of gains. So they don't care about that. They only care about minimizing their loss. That's it. And the last concept is the momentum effect. Momentum is a period of certain events. Let's say if the momentum is about the period of rising share prices in one industry. So this will this could lead to the general optimism among investors. So they believe that the share price of this industry is rising. So it will rise in the future. So they are more than ever, they are more willing to invest in the shares of such companies whose share prices are rising in the momentum. So if you have any further opinions, suggestions, or let's say complaints, questions about ACC, do write it in the comments below. So the next video, could highlight what you wanted to hear from us. Thank you so much.